New polls tonight show it's a tight race between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump in a general election preview. Clinton still has to beat Bernie Sanders in California first, but she's looking long term and used her event in New Jersey today to take on the Donald. This is just more evidence that Donald Trump himself is a fraud. He is trying to scam America the way he scammed all those people at Trump U. On issue after issue, we see someone who is unqualified and unfit to be President of the United States. Pretty tough stuff from Mrs. Clinton. Joining me now, Julie Reginsky, Aaron Bill Bray, and Mark Serrano. Julie, is it a good move for Mrs. Clinton to ignore Sanders and the California primary, which seems to be getting closer and closer with every tick of the clock, and go for Donald's throat? Well, this may be a Jersey Pride thing for me. I'm sure it's a Jersey we're Pride both, thing. We're, we're both, both Jersey, Jersey expats, and we both love it. Um, I'm a Jersey she guy will too. win this in New Jersey, and she will 100% be able to be the nominee short of any superdelegates changing their minds, which they won't. And so, of course, it's smart for her because Bernie Sanders is done. And she needs to move, despite what the voters might think. Right, we, we, so we, she, hap yeah. we happen to have on oh, our panel good. Aaron Bilbray, who is a Bernie Sanders superdelegate. Aaron, is it a little lonely out there? <laughs> are there any other superdelegates that are for Bernie? Well, there's a few of us, but it's a little lonely being a Gen X or superdelegate at the Democratic Party also. So there's not too many of us that are kind of young. Okay, so give me a blueprint about how Bernie can still stay relevant or poised to upset her in Philadelphia. What has to happen in the next two or three weeks for him to go to Philadelphia hopeful? Well, we're going to Philadelphia, without a doubt, and I think that Senator Sanders is going to do very well in California. Right now, I know the polls have him down by two points, but we've seen that these polls are not that effective with the millennials who don't have landlines and communicate by cell phone. Um, there's going to be a lot of us that are going to arrive in Philadelphia, and we really want to make sure that Senator Sanders' voice is heard. Okay, uh, Mark, the latest NBC Wall Street Journal poll, which just came out a few minutes ago, shows that the race is tightening, that it's two, two uh, points apart. And if you look at not just likely Democrats, but all Democrats and factor it independents who can vote in the Democratic primary in California, it's one point apart. What happens if well, Bernie that, beats yeah. her in California, even if it's by a small margin? Well, what happens is she continues to slide in these polls, Judge. You know, it's very interesting hearing those quotes from Hillary Clinton today in New Jersey. Did she hire Marco Rubio's speechwriter? <laughs> My gosh. I mean, that's exactly Marco Rubio's talking points from one of those debates. Look how it worked out for him and the other 15 candidates on the Republican side. She is running a very foolish strategy. And look, there, there's the two competing interests for the Clinton campaign right now. One is delegate count, which they will probably reach in New Jersey on the evening of June 7th. Okay. The other is the politics of optics, what it looks like for her in California. And you're right. If she only wins by a slim margin in California, it won't matter for the delegate count. It's about what that does to her in the polling against Trump when she's looking at a very disruptive, uh, disorganized convention okay. with these Bernie supporters being very upset. Okay, Julie, how, we only have about a half a minute. How bad will it be for her if she wins numerically in New Jersey on Tuesday but then goes on to lose California in the, in the uh, Oh, boy, you know, I'm a big believer in math is math, and the momentum is nothing more than math. And the reality is that 8 p.m. Eastern, time, which is not 8 p.m. Western time, right. Pacific Coast time. You she, think it's over at that point? She will have won the requisite number of delegates in New Jersey to have clinched this nomination. No, no matter, matter, what, no matter what happens oh. in California. California counts, no it matter does, what. It, California I'm sorry counts. to say to you, optics is optics. Okay. Optics is not as relevant as now. Gotta go. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>